Assalamualaikum, this is Dr. Azharuddin. Dua hai aap sab hamesha khairiyat se rahe. AKU mein house job ya internship Karachi ke bahut se medical students ka dream hai. Lekin sirf Karachi hi nahi, balki pure Pakistan se students AKU ke internship test mein involve hote hain. Ab is test ki taiyari kaise karni hai? Is mauzu pe baat karne ke liye hamare sath maujood hongi Dr. Heba Salim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Heba Salim. I'm a graduate from Jinnah Sin Medical University, Sin Medical College. And currently, I'm working as an intern at the Aga Khan University Hospital. So I was asked to talk a bit about the AKUH internship entrance exam, and I'll be giving a very brief overview of it. So firstly are the online application forms. So these forms are uploaded on the official website of the Aga Khan University Hospital. So what you have to do is that you need to fill out these forms and submit them before the deadline, which is pretty obvious. But these forms are quite lengthy, so I would suggest that you take an early start at filling them so that it gets completed within the given deadline. So once you're done submitting the forms, then comes the second part, which is the internship entrance test itself. So the test is split into two parts. The first part is the written test, and the second are the MMIs. The written test has two sections, an English section, which basically is worth for around 30% of the exam. It's pretty basic, so I would suggest that you don't waste your time preparing for it separately. Um, it basically has questions like synonyms and antonyms and choosing the sentence with the correct grammar. But there's also, from what I remember, there's also a passage given and then there are certain best choice questions related to it and you need to answer those as well. But there really aren't something that uh, you need to prepare for separately because it's gonna just, you know, waste your time. But I would suggest that you focus on preparing for the remaining 70% of the exam, which is based on your general feeds, your general medicine, your general surgery, gynae and ops, which is pretty much your basic final year syllabus. So there are no certain sources that you need to study from. Really, whatever is suitable for you, you should do that. But I can share what I did and what most of my batchmates were doing. So a lot of my batchmates were studying from Master the Boards by Conrad Fisher. And uh, it is a really nice book. And honestly, I bought it as well, but I did not have time to go through it because it was so huge. And I'd rather just watch the videos. So I watched Kaplan videos by Dr. Conrad Fisher. Those were really useful in the sense that they did not only help me for the internship exam, but they also helped me for my final year props. So another textbook that you can go through is the Irfan Masood medicine textbook because most of the questions I felt like were from medicine when compared to surgery and peds and gynae and ops. From gynae and ops, I don't really remember seeing a lot of questions. From pediatrics, I think there were a few from immunization and uh, that's about it. From surgery, I'll go through the trauma topics because those are important. And yeah, that's all that I can remember. Secondly, um, there is a textbook called Residence Way to Residency that has, it's like a question bank. So you can solve those two if you have time. Again, there are a lot of questions. So I don't think you will have time to go through all of them, but then as many as you can um, would be quite beneficial. Then the most high yield thing in my eyes was to go, was to do the past papers. So even if you don't have time, do make sure that uh, you like three days before the exam you start going through the past papers and do those really thoroughly because um, they do get repeated and uh, the air in which I gave the exam there were most of the questions were from the past paper so it really was life-saving so once the written exam is done and the results come out the top 130 to 140 ish applicants get qualified for the next part which are the MMIs or the multiple mini interviews now the MMIs, they do sound very intimidating, but um, they're not something that you need to be scared of. So it's basically just an OSCE based exam. It has eight stations and each station is of around five minutes. And they are based on topics like ethics, um, decision making, triage cases and things like that. Personally, I felt like for the MMIs, the examiners were evaluating the applicants more on their um, confidence rather than their knowledge. So um, even if the answer is wrong and the applicant has enough reasoning and justification to back it up, that is more than enough for them. So yeah, I think that um, the best way to prepare for it would be to go through the past stations, the past papers for the MMIs, 
that is what I did and that is what most of my batchmates did so just go through them thoroughly so yeah that should be more than enough just be fresh be confident and inshallah you should be able to get through it